Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here again and I'm back for another crafty video. So this time we're going to make one of these. This is really simple, very straightforward and the easiest um, expanding folder you'll ever make. So really simple, expands nice and big and it's great for you know putting in a junk journal for stuffing it full of all sorts of different things. You can put your own kind of closure on however you want to make it. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make this bit. And it's literally a one a one piece of paper jobby on either side. So I'll show you how to do that. So um, what we're going to do is going to take a piece of cardboard. Okay, so this is a piece of cardboard. You might, if you watched the last video, this is the offcut of the previous piece, previous um, from the previous video when I made some bookmarky things. And if you didn't see that video, that's the previous one. Go and check that out because it was good. Well, you know. He says, um, I thought it was good anyway. So what, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut that. There's a, like a, a score line in this. I'm just gonna cut that off. Okay. And I'm not gonna worry about straightening all the edges up. Um, I'm just gonna take that bit off the top there. Just to make it a bit straighter. Okay, so now what we've got, oh, there's, a, there's another, another score line there. I just need to cut that off, hang on. get rid of that there we go so all you need is a long piece of cardboard and all you're going to do is you're going to fold it up and you fold it however you like so just think how do i want this to look and fold it however you want it to be so and then fold it over you can score it you can do all of that i'm not um because i'm just doing it for speed except for i have nowhere else there I think where's my bone folder gone but it's here and then all I did was I left a bit of a gap if you look at this left a bit of a gap at the top there um, and all I did was I folded it over leaving a bit of a gap and just fold that over and then just put that score line in so we basically made the the outside bit it might not be all square and whoopty do but Let's just straighten that off, Dave, because you won't be able to live with yourself otherwise. Oh. There we go. So I'm putting out a call to people, by the way. I am where I work. Uh, we do a lot of community stuff with um, kids and uh, people from... Um, deprived areas and things and we do a lot of crafty stuff and one of our uh, crafty team um, at um, I think they're in the Selby office um, wants some wool or yarn or whatever you want to call it um, and they just want scraps of it um, and anything anybody can spare please can you get in touch with me and I'll give you an address to send it to. I'll get you to send it to my work address. Um, and that would be great if you could just donate some. If if not, don't worry. I'm, just not, I'm not asking for for anything. I don't want you to buy any or anything like that specifically. Just your odd, old, odd bits of wool. And that's all you need. So, um, so thanks very much for that. Um, if anybody wants to kind of chip in. So um, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to now do the the concertina bit so the accordion bit concertina accordion you know i say i say the wrong thing every time but hey i think i think you might know what i mean the zigzaggy bit okay so what you need is you need a piece of paper okay and what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half first it doesn't have to be perfect because this it's not the half that we're looking at we're just going to tear that see it doesn't have to be perfect and it isn't just just do that and then what you need to do is you just need to put your square edges together. Okay, and if you've got holes in the corner, uh, holes in it like I do, then just use the other the other side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to going to fold the two bits together. You can do it separately or or whatever. Actually, we'll do it separately so you know what I can what I'm doing. So you can do it together. It, it's entirely up to you. But like I'm doing it separately just so you know what I'm doing. So I'm going to fold this side up to this top edge here just so we make a nice pinch the corner 
make a nice corner and then we just put a crease in there okay and then we're going to take it all again and we're going to fold it up so we're going to take the folded edge and fold it up to the top and we're going to do that and lay it down and fold it over yeah and then we're going to do that one more time so you're going to take this folded edge and fold it up to that up there that up there and it's going to get harder to do the, the tip but don't worry too much about the tip because we're going to lose that in a minute so, so once you've done that okay then now's the time to do the the bone folding scoring Fuji what's it so I'll put that to one side and I'll do the same again so again what we're going to do is we're going to take this edge and fold it up to this top edge like that yep and then we're going to take this folded edge and fold it up to that top edge so you're always folding up to the top edge so even though you make a new top edge, you're still always folding up to the top edge. And then we're going to take this folded edge and fold it up to the top edge again. And like I say, don't worry too much about the, the point because just like just like my brain, it loses, we're going to lose the point. I always lose the point to everything. So once you've done that, then you can just going to open them back up again. And you've got this kind of fan shape. Okay, so they're the same, it's just the opposite way around, the opposite sides, okay. So then you're gonna take your middle fold. So this is your, so if you look at how many folds you've got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you, you go one, two, three, four. That is your middle fold. So you, you take your middle fold. And you fold it one way whichever way you like front back doesn't matter and then you're going to turn these into concertinas so they're going to go one way and then the other way okay and then you flip it over and you're going to do the same again so you're going to flip it one way flip it back the other way and then flip it back that way okay so we'll do that again with this one so remember we're going to t we've got one two three four five six seven folds so that makes it one, two, three, four is your middle one. I know it looks like that that should be your middle one, but it's that one. I'm going to fold it. Yeah, and then we're going to take the other the other crease and we're going to fold that back on itself. Yeah, and then we're going to take this side and fold it in and that one back. Okay, and flip it over and take this one, flip it back, this one forward and that one back so you've got so whatever you do on, on each of them whichever way round you do it you just want it to go front back front back front back so you've got exactly the same thing as now so you've got exactly the same holes they're just mirror images of each other okay then what you want to want to do is you're going to take these and you're going to snip the very tip off because the, I've told you that we're going to lose the point you're going to snip the very tip of that off Okay, and do the same on that one because it all gets dog-eared anyway. So, so then what you want is you're going to have two the open edges, the cut edges. Okay, these are the bits that are going to point inwards, and you're going to put the rest of this against here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to don't glue anything yet. You're going to put it down, and you're going to say right, okay, where do I need to cut it? So I need to cut it short of that line. Otherwise, if you cut it on that line, it'll be poking out through the top. So it might not look straight, but you want to cut that line because remember that you made sure that, that line was straight was against this side edge. Okay, so I might just take a tiny bit more off the top of that. Okay, so that now you put that up against that edge there. And when you close that up, you shouldn't be able to see that. That's fine. Okay. So then again, we're going to do, take this. And remember, we want the fault. So the cut edges are going to face in. So if they like this, this way around, you've got the cut edges. If you don't want to face out, you want them to face into your project. I might just take a tiny bit more of that tip off. Okay. 
okay and then we're going to pop that on there and again we're going to go we're going to measure it we're going to line this folded edge up with the side of your project fold this up put a line at the top and then we're going to cut just short of that line but you can't see it sticking out so just check that that's okay pop that in there fold it up is it okay yep it's fine okay so now's the time to these bits can be put into your projects or you know use it however you like be creative with them don't just chuck them away and then we're going to distress our project well i'm going to distress my project you can do what you like so if you don't want to distress your project don't distress it that's absolutely fine i'm not making you really do not like that now it's getting very manky sorry excuse me for reaching over the camera but i need to find a different thing now it's beyond a joke can't can't cope with it pop this flat pad back on so those domed ones brian gave me because he didn't like them so he, he said you know see how you get on with these but and I was reluctant to change it. The problem, because the reason it, for change, the reason I was reluctant is, you get much more de defined round circles when these are starting to pick up ink. When they're already, already got ink on them, you don't see it so much. And it's that the brushes, although I like the brushes, I don't f think the brushes put lay down enough colour um, for the kind of stuff that I'm currently doing, which is the utilitarian stuff. So. And ink this. I'm not going to worry too much about the back and the reason for not worrying about the back is I'm probably going to stick it down so the back is inside the book so stick stuck down onto one of the pages rather than being a free separate thing and that, because that's what I wanted I needed some pockets for my my new journal but I'm kind of just hedging my bets just in case I do decide to leave it free um, so I've given it a little bit of an ink at the edges because that's the harder thing to do when you're trying when you've already assembled it. So and now I'm just going to go over with my this is my running out pad, but you know the one that kind of gives it a bit of a motley appearance. I like to reuse everything I possibly can. And I'm just going to catch the inside edges, just in case you can see them. Okay, so pop that closed. Okay, so actually do need to do, uh, where's, that's, my, that's my lid, no I mean that's my <laughs> flap. So I need to do something on the inside, otherwise it's going to look a bit stark. So I'm just going to go over it with this and a little bit of colour. So I'll use maybe tea dye this time. So I'm not going to worry about going inside too much. Just just a little bit in um, because you know they don't tend to fade on the inside. It's only the bits exposed to the light that turns to paint. Okay, so there we go, that's that. So now what we need to do is take, when you're going to stick them in, you've got to remember that you've got to have the cut sides facing into your project. Okay, so what I did was I took, the, took it and I put glue on just one side first. That way then you get it, you can line it up better. You have a bit more control over it. So remember, cut side facing into your project. But the the flat end up against the crease. Get that on that line as much as you can, and put that one in, and then do the same for the other one. Okay, so again, we're going to be doing this one so that we can face it inwards. Okay, we're going to pop 
that on there again just kind of lining it up as much as you can just so your, your paper doesn't ha overhang too much and it doesn't sit too far in okay once you put those bits in you can then glue this one just kind of hold it down when you're gluing it so it doesn't go bouncing all over the place and then do this one and then we're going to fold that up just pinch those bottom bottom bits in and then you should find it it sits in better just fold that up stick it down lid back on the glue well that's just kind of bonding no don't okay then don't put the lid back on the glue oh no there you go okay so once 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 that's stuck then you've got this fully opening expanding so there you go so it's fully opens and expands it, it might have a bit of glue where it's kind of stuck to the wrong fold but like you can just pull that apart and there you go so it opens nicely and it closes back up again Bit of use and it'll it'll learn where it's supposed to be. So there we go. That's it. So it's another nice little interactive thing. And all I did was I put a um a, a disc on the front. You can you could use one of those if you're going to make one of those stringy closures enclosures. Then uh, remember to do that before you kind of finish your job off. Um, otherwise it makes it hard to get into. Um, I'm just going to use some cardboard make a so this cardboard is literally just cardboard that I've used for when I'm inking and it's kind of giving it almost like a wood grain effect let's get rid of the whiteness on there and the whiteness on the edge okay and all I did was I just took it and I Maybe we'll round the corners on this one, give it a bit more. Oh, I keep stop doing that, Dave. Stick that in there, round that edge, and then do that one as well. So if we're going to do one, we're going to do the other. Okay, and then all I did, like I say, was I took this and I just glued a little bit at the bottom. You can see I've used it for writing on and all sorts of stuff. And then. See, just check where your your half glue is, and make sure that that's short of this this overlap. Stick it down and hold it in place, and then that will just unclip from there, and you can open it up, and then it closes back up again, and then clips back in there. So that's basically it. We'll put a little something on there, so we'll give it a bit of a stamp of something. So red thing I've got a <laughs> you know when you can't find your your stamping blocks then you know basically I'll just use anything that I've got to hand so just make sure my numbers are the right way up no nope, they're not there you go that's the right way up is it yep whatever I have to hand pop that on there double reference it there we go we might have another let's see what else we've got another stamp something there we go we'll have overdue account oh didn't didn't stamp perfectly but we don't mind that do we it's a, everything is an opportunity we're going to stamp it with with this as well we've got c as well i think it's copyright or something like that go for brown wrong way up always every time I use that one it's the wrong way up never mind every time Dave you look at it every time and then still do it the wrong way up anyway there we go so that's it so that's another little thing to make so I like it because it expands really well and also it's a you know I like the way it expands it's not the square ones kind of all bunch up at the bottom and they push the they push the bottom bit out so 
Anyway, give it a go. If you if you like it, give it a go. If you liked it, you should have put a ring on it. Um, if you're Beyonce, anyway. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Dale. Move on. All right, folks. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget, my name is Dash of Dave, and I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to. And that means that I hopefully will see you in the next video. Um, it means that I hope that you're going to give this a thumbs up, and uh, you might want to leave a comment, and you might even want to subscribe. But I will hopefully see you in the next video, like I say. Um, and I'll be able to tell whether you've done any of those things because I get all the analytics from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear all of the muck off there and I'm going to say, right, okay, so I've done um, I've done some pockets. I haven't done a corner pocket, so let's just put pocket on here. I can cross it out now. We've done some bookmarks and we've done... Uh, no, that's it. That's what we've done. So we've got other things that we need to make. But I'll see you in another video for that. And I'm going to stick that back where it's supposed to have come from. Um, otherwise, I will lose it. I just believe it's stuck to that thing. So try and put your things away. Play nicely, folks. And I'll see you all soon. All right. Take care, folks. Mwah. 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 And I'll see you soon. Take care. Big hugs. Bye.